Mother of Thousands has been the easiest plant for me to propagate because it started growing on its own on my patio. So I took those plants and I replanted them and what you see now is actually one of the plants that is becoming a parent. If another one that also shows larger plantlets, um, some of which have begun falling to the ground. These are some of the babies that had fallen off over the past couple weeks, so you can already see that they are varying sizes and how quickly they grow. So it looks like this mother of thousands is ready to have these little buds moved uh, because some of them you can see are beginning, maybe you can see at the bottom down there, are beginning to fall. So I'm gonna try to grab up some of those and maybe take a couple of the larger ones like this one here, these couple here in the middle uh, and transplant them over to another pot have another one back here also that's kind of doing the same and I know that they're gonna fall I'm gonna let a few of them fall um, just so we can have more of them in this container but I don't want too many so we're gonna move a few over to another one okay so again I'm just gonna be taking the larger ones and just grabbing them and twisting them just a little bit until they pop off so they do pop off pretty easily. So just a few of these. very small pots here that I filled with some cactus soil which is generally best for them to grow in you can just use regular soil I've had success with regular soil also but if you want to have the best luck cactus soil is the way to go you know what I'll do I'll put all the ones that have rooted into one so that way we can see the difference. So the three ones that have roots, I'll leave in the first one and then the remaining ones will each get about three. So again, I'm just gonna pop them right on top of the soil. I don't even really need to push them down because they will root on their own, which is what is so nice about the mother of thousands is it's really easy to grow. And I am going to leave these outside. We have nice hot Florida for weather, which is good for growing lots of plants. Um, but if you happen to be in a colder region of the country, you should leave these on a windowsill to make sure that they're able to get the light that they need. And I will water them now. Um, and I'll probably just look to keep, all right, one of these will get four. Probably just look to keep that they, um, you know, the soil doesn't dry out too much. but it is important in whatever pot that you put it into that it has good drainage. So either holes at the bottom of the pot or if you plan on not having holes at the bottom, just keeping an eye on how much moisture it has 